what is up everybody how's it going my fellow collectors this is Reagan thanks for tuning back into our channel in today's video we are going to unbox and review this newly released figure of hot toys and this is none other than crosshair from the Star Wars the Bad Batch TV series TMS 08716 scale collectible figure and before we start if you're new to our channel please don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell if you want to get notified once I upload a new video especially hot toys without further ado let's dive in Alright, so this is the art box and I would say it looks really good. Very neat presentation of the print, especially the picture of Crosshair right there. The standard design for Star Wars, Hot Toys, you know, art box and a team badge right here at the bottom. And of course, with that beautiful picture of Crosshair right there. And then another nice pose of Crosshair on the side. And at the back, of course, the standard description, the warnings and the websites right here. And then, nothing. That's it bottom the top okay I'm really excited to see the figures so let's open it wow oh my goodness look at that that is really nice pose I mean like not just the pose but the print itself right look at that that is really really nice I mean like the quality is really high guys this is what I'm talking about. I mean, like, you know, some other prints, sometimes it's like a bit off, you know, or maybe that's, you know, that's their idea. But this one is really amazing, guys. I mean, the print, wow, that is really nice. You could even put that to the card, you know, if you also collect some Star Wars cards, right? That's just really nice pose right there. And then some nice, uh, you know, helmet or crosshair right there at the back, you know, something like a backdrop. Amazing, amazing uh, cover print right here, okay? and then right there oh my goodness look at that uh, i mean like not just the presentation of the packaging but that's a lot of accessories right i mean like those weapons Ooh, i'm really excited to see that but let me smell this one wow my gosh the smell is really good <laughs> so i'm gonna remove this one first so there's no backdrop so i'm gonna check first the instruction sheets Okay, so right here is the instruction sheet. Let's put it here. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this small packaging tray right here. So this one comes with five pieces of extra interchangeable hands with different gestures. The paint job and the weathering looks fantastic right nice so five pieces and then total of seven pieces including that the one attached to the figure okay and then right here is two pieces of extra joint in black color I think not only oh not only the extra joint also his uh, toothpick yes right there okay and then right here is his blaster pistol. I would say it looks terrific. Nice. Very neat, guys. Very neat paint job. And then right here is the thermal detonator. So we got two pieces. The other one is in half. So and then the other one is full. Okay. And the details and paint job is fantastic. And next up is a sniper rifle. I would say it looks really good. The paint job and the weathering is fantastic. But I find it like the details is a little bit light. I mean like probably because this one is from animated series. So that's why it looks like that. You know, that's the design. But you know, again, the paint job and weathering looks pretty neat to me. Okay, and it's pretty solid. You know, there's a bit weight right there. Okay, and also it has some interchangeable parts which is this one right here I'm not, I'm not sure what is the name of this one but very nice weathering as well so probably here right and of course another one this one is really cool too like it's so long so this one I believe this is the muscles that you're going to attach it here okay so later we're gonna try that very nice paint job I would say also it has some you know weathering and this one right here is the scope or kind of like a aiming device which is really cool as well 
Uh, this one is pretty simple, you know, it, it has some weathering, but uh, you know, I would say pretty simple. Okay, so probably we're gonna attach it around here. And then last but not the least, is this this one right here this huge i think it's also a muscles right looks like wow this is really nice amazing so paint job i would say printing it and some extra weathering right there okay so there you go that's a lot of interchangeable parts for this sniper rifle i'm excited to play with that let's move on to this right here so this one is the kind of like a military backpack it has some uh, magnetic design right there of course pretty simple you know very straightforward i would say and you know, the paint job and the weathering you know is fantastic and yeah really nice a uh, really nice shape very animated i would say you know so later we're gonna attach uh, something here so we're gonna find out later and uh Right here is the extra head scuff of crosshair. Oh my goodness. This is absolutely amazing. Look at that. Wow. Wait, it's too bright. Let me. Right? That's definitely crosshair. Looks really good, you know, in my honest opinion. Okay. Animated slash, you know, uh, realistic, you know, something like that realistic look of crosshair that is fantastic anyway so we're gonna play that later and then of course the figure the crosshair figure wow okay let me zoom out that and let's remove first those plastics There you go. Wow. This is fantastic. Look at that. That is really nice. That's a lot of scuffing, weathering, you know. Wow. Very detailed, you know. Scratches. Nice. Okay. And let me get first those. Okay, let me get the base first. Okay. So right here is the crutch holder. And then we got the standard uh, ship base, team base, and then with that beautiful nameplate right there. And then of course some really nice print right here for some interchangeable you know look. Okay, really nice the Bad Batch logo. We're gonna put this one first. Let's clean it up. Alright, so I think that's pretty much everything included in the box. So now I'm gonna check first the articulations and let's play with those accessories, okay? Let's go. Okay, so let's check the articulation. I'm gonna start with this one right here. With the head. Okay, next is the shoulders, all the way up to 90 degrees, actually even higher, maybe, no, I think that's it, so all the way up there, shoulders up and down, you know, if you're going to fix the uh, you know the form of his arms okay to put back to the right position elbows bam double jointed right there bam look at that wow it pop out <laughs> there you go now 
that is amazing and of course the wrist joint pretty decent you know I would say still tight okay, because it's still new swivel a little bit yes there you go Let's swivel that and then body upper body crunch in yes not really as any have because of the armor so kind of like blocking the range of motion and that armor on the waistline is quite big you know it's kind of like up to the chest right there see so once you move it's uh, expect that you might gonna scratch those armor okay side not much as well because of that armor but I think uh, we could do some twist here Okay, I think that's the max. Same on the other side. Yeah, that's the max. Okay, moving on to the legs all the way to the side. That's split right there, straddle, and then bring it back to the front all the way up to 90 degrees. Okay, and to the back. Same on the other side. We build these. That yeah, looks good. Uh, it's good for kneeling down position, you know. Right there. Okay, and then the ankle. Wait. The ankle, I would say, pretty decent, you know. See, you could do different angles right there. Okay, not bad. Legs, point, side, and you know, twist. Yeah, same other side. Okay. Nice flex right there and point. Okay. There you go. I think that's it for the articulations. I would say it looks really good. If you have the other, you know, bad batch series, I think it's pretty similar, you know. Uh, in terms of doing articulations and range of motion okay and then yeah so now let's try those accessories I'm gonna start first with the blaster pistol right here that we're going to attach to the holster next up is the military backpack right here that looks really awesome look at that of course I hope this one really holds up I mean like not to lose you know because um, yeah again well it looks pretty solid you know I mean uh, just in case you drop it I think uh, I feel like it's pretty solid so, yeah so that's it okay make sure to remove this one if you're going to do some articulation so it, it won't you know fall you know uh, yeah okay and then okay so now let's play with the sniper rifle let's try those switch out so I'm gonna remove this one first. I believe this is where we're going to put those muzzles. Wow, that's kind of like hard to remove. There you go. And I'm gonna try this one first. Wow, that looks awesome, right? That's so long. Nice, very nice sniper rifle. And then also this one right here. Yeah, this one is uh i think this is kind of like a magazine right and then we're gonna try this one right here okay so that's very easy to you know uh to remove there you go nice and then this one also right here for that scope okay so this one is quite hard <laughs> so make sure you have extra nails there to you know detach this one Oops, there we go. Yeah. Okay. Then we're gonna use this one right here. And that looks terrific. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. That looks so strong. I mean like you know complete um uh what's this like parts right there. Long range, yeah. This is for long range. And uh, this one another muscles right here wow i mean this one is more of like heavy blaster right that looks so cool okay but uh yeah 
This one looks so cool. And I believe this one, we could attach it here. But I think we should remove this one. Wait, let me try. Try. Or here. Oh, I see. So this part right here, because this one has a magnetic uh, function. So you're gonna, it's more of here. The magnet is around here. Okay. So that's how you're going to put it. So I thought it's like this. So it's more of here. So if you're going to use, um, there you go. That's how it looks like. Yes. Nice. That looks awesome, right? Amazing. So you could use also the other uh, muscles. Okay. Or of course, the smaller one is better. But uh, yeah, but if you're going to use also the bigger one, yeah, I think it's fine. Okay. This one is really nice. Okay, I think that's it for the uh, sniper rifle. So we're gonna remove the head. Let's try that head scalp of crosshair. Uh, really excited to see this one. It's a little bit uh, harder because I cannot hear any, you know, click there that I already attached this, uh, you know, head. But yeah, I think that's it. Okay, you just have to feel it. Okay, and then let me put that toothpick right there. That is the one I'm really excited to see. Okay, okay so we got two pieces of this toothpick right there. Bam! Yeah, there you go. That looks awesome, guys. Look at that. Nice. See? Mm. So it's not yet properly, you know, attached to the joint. So let me. All right. So I think that's it. I mean, like, uh, I already try my best, you know, like, you know, pushing that head to the joint. I think, uh, I think that's it. Okay. See. Yeah, I think it's fine now. And that toothpick is really, really awesome, guys. Right? See. Wow. Okay, nice cross here. Oh my goodness, this is really nice, guys. Of course, just be careful on that because you might gonna, you know, break that. So yeah, be careful on touching the head or moving the head. And there you go. Nice, amazing. Wow. Okay, now let's talk about the closer look on the details, those movable parts. Starting off with the shoes, I think the weathering and the paint job looks terrific. However, the details is a little bit soft. I'm not really sure. Probably this one is, you know, from the animated series, so that's why it looks like that. But, you know, the paint job is pretty neat to me. Uh, it's just that probably like a little bit softer on the details. And then the leg armor, I would say it is absolutely incredible, especially those scuffing, those weathering, those distress effect is absolutely amazing. I think that's the first thing I, you know, that's the very first thing I noticed on this figure is those scuffing that looks like a battle damage to me. Really, really amazing. You know, those weathering, the paint job is absolutely impeccable. Really, really nice. So again, this leg armor is movable and those red markings is really nice as well really nice mold it's pretty solid and then this one right here is the knee armor this is also detachable or you could also move to fix you know if you're going to do some poses these thigh armor also movable you could also detach that from the legs i think it's pretty solid very nice weathering effects and these under armor i'm not really sure if it's detachable probably you could the details and weathering looks terrific as well and then this waist armor definitely not detachable from the body but you could you know but you're gonna break it and I'm not really sure if the belt is attached to that waist armor, but I could move the belt, but it's just that I'm not 100% sure. And take note that this belt is made out of a real leather material, which is amazing. So that's a great news, especially Star Wars collectors. So we're not going to worry about flaking in the future, so just put some extra leather lotion. And then that's it, you know, it's going to last longer. But I'm not sure that, uh, I think we have some figures that, you know, from Hot Toys has that, you know, genuine leather. But I forgot which figure. But at least Hot Toys is giving us a better quality material, so thank you Hot Toys. And the details and the weathering on the pouches, the buckles, and the holsters is absolutely terrific. 
and then these extra details right here i forgot how you're going to call this one kind of like a bullet right it's kind of like a magazine right it looks really really cool as well but uh, this one is not detachable from the belt and then this leather pad right here has some magnetic design so it will automatically go back to the armor once you fix it and i think this one is made out of a real leather material which is really amazing the details is fantastic and then these big bullets are riveted to the body strap i think the quality is fantastic the gauntlet armor is also movable and detachable from the body the details and the weathering looks absolutely terrific and that extra armor on the bicep looks good uh, that's also very easy to move and detachable from the body and that special signet on the shoulder armor and at the back is absolutely fantastic and the weathering and the scuffing incredible this one also has some garter design so you can easily move and of course detachable as well from the body and then these extra details on the left shoulder looks fantastic very accurate right and the helmet i would say oh my goodness it is absolutely phenomenal i mean like hot toys nail this one the markings the details you know with extra scuffing and weathering effects amazing right i mean like the scalp really really amazing especially those extra details underneath or inside the mouth that is fantastic guys and some extra simple details at the back of the armor and i noticed that the strap is actually hooked to the armor so it's not really you know removable but i'm just saying just in case you're planning to remove it it's actually a holder you know to the belt so at least it won't fall down and last but not the least is the head scalp out there it is absolutely phenomenal guys i mean look at that the texture the skin tone the details like highly detailed i mean this one is not the animated look that's the realistic look of crosshair which is really amazing guys look at that even the marks on his eyes you know especially with that toothpick on that is crazy right the head scalp is amazing too i mean like the overall look of this head scalp is a masterpiece you know in my honest opinion Wow, great job, Hot Toys. I think that's it. And my overall thoughts on this crosshair figure, I would say it is absolutely incredible. A great looking figure, a masterpiece, you know, in my honest opinion. Definitely a must have figure to any Star Wars fans out there, especially if you're into Bad Batch series. But of course, if you're not really a fan of Star Wars, for sure, you're gonna find this figure really awesome as well, right? But again, for those who are really into a Bad Batch series, if you're planning to complete the Bad Batch, I think you should really add this to your collection. I mean, if you're on a fence or you're thinking, uh, like, I mean, you're not gonna regret, you know, once you get this in your hand. I mean, look at that, guys. I mean, that is a no-brainer, especially if you're going to display it with the other character of the Bad Batch series wow that's gonna be awesome right so we still have two more character that is going to be released next year and uh yeah we have to be patient and that's gonna be really really awesome right i hope there's uh you know other characters that have to you know should uh you know make but uh yeah let's see what's gonna happen so i think that's about it guys that's all i could say let me know your thoughts on this figure as well feel free to comment down below and if you like this video don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't yet okay until then see you in the next one Peace.